Entonces, no. La, 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 la. <laughs> she just feel like she has to sing something. I do. First Corinthians 13. I mean, the whole thing is about love, okay? We just can't even pick one verse. But First Corinthians 13 talks about love and how we are supposed to love, right? It's easy to love people that we love, okay? For the most part, right? Mm -hmm. But there are four different types of love in the word real quick, right? There's filios, there's eros, there's agape, and then there's stergos. And so what they are, are um, love that's like affectionate love. Then you have your friendship type love. You have your um, passionate love. And then you have your unconditional love. Mm -hmm. That is our the, the type of love that is being talked about in 1 Corinthians, where we are, uh, God is challenging us to love unconditionally, right? That we love people, that we not just love the people we know or love the people we love, but we learn how to love like he loved us when we was in the middle of our mess. God loved us when we were dirty, nasty, stinky, when mm. we did not even and still don't deserve to be in his presence. He loves us beyond all of our faults, all of our mistakes, right? And so the kind of love that he wants us to have for each other. See, we always think about the love that is turned toward us, like people loving us, right? But God wants us to take that outward. How are we showing love through this fast? I want to ask you, I'm going to invite you mm. to ask God to give you a heart like his. Lord, help me to love people like you love. Help me to love people past my understanding or my expectation of who they are or my limited belief and what I think they deserve in terms of love and help me to love people like you do. Love. Jesus looked upon the people and had compassion. Yes. Can we look upon people and have compassion. Compassion is just another place of love. So much so that you're willing to share the love of Jesus with mm -hmm. someone else. That you're, mm -hmm. you're you're willing to go beyond your own capacity to do what you can um, within the confines of who God made you be. Mm -hmm. You know, that love, that kind of love. That yes. just is willing to give, is willing to pour out, is willing to just... Uh, as she said, she used the word unconditional. You know, you don't have to give anything back to me. It's just, you know, I, I just want to do it. I just want to do it because I'm so full of love that I want to give it away. Yes. I want to give it away. <laughs> I want. I, I, I just. I, I, and and not in the way that a lot of people feel that they mm -hmm. need to give away love, mm -hmm. but just just genuine, authentic uh, love that just that just overflows and, and makes people feel good about who mm -hmm. they are and value who they are and all those kind yeah. of things. That kind of love. That kind of love. I laugh because I literally just listened to Commission, old throwback. Mm -hmm. Love is in love till to you give it away. away. It's just waiting to be given. Come on. Our love is waiting to be given. Mm. And here's the kicker. The Bible says that we are known by our love. That's how people are supposed to be able to recognize if we belong to God or not. Because of our love. Because of our love. Do people know you from your love? That's a question. Wow. By this, all men know that you belong to the kingdom of God. Mm, mm. My God. Now that song going to be in my head. <laughs> so today's word, today's love. word is love. And we just, we just pray that during this time of consecration that you, that we would find time, find ways to share the love of Jesus Christ.